to Washington, and I met with the chief and a number of other officials, and they interrogated me for about 90 minutes. I didn't know why. I thought I maybe had done something wrong. I was about to be fired or something. Finally, they turned and they said, okay, we've made a decision. You were assigned to Mrs. John F. Kennedy. So you were assigned to this new glamorous first lady. How did you feel about that? I, I felt terrible. I was devastated. I was disappointed. <laughs> I didn't want to be with a first lady. I knew what that was like in the previous administrations with Bess Truman and Mamie Eisenhower. You go to fashion shows, watch Canasta games. I mean, that was it. So I didn't want that. I wanted to be where the action was. Yeah, the Prime Minister of Australia had drowned. And Johnson was a, thought of, he was a pretty good friend. So he wanted to go to the funeral down in Australia. So we flew to Australia for the funeral. Well, when the funeral was over, since we were halfway around the world, apparently, he thought, well, we might just keep on going. We didn't have any previous plans to that effect, but that's what he wanted to do. So we took off from Canberra, and we flew to Karat, Thailand, where there was an Air Force base, so he could visit with some of the air crews that came in from a bombing run. Took off in Karat, flew over to Cameron Bay, Vietnam, to talk to the troops in Cameron Bay. Then we flew over to Karachi, he met with President Ayub Khan in Pakistan. Then we flew to Rome, and he met with the President and with the Pope. And then we were taken off to fly back to Washington. It's now middle of the night, Christmas Eve. Johnson goes to bed on the airplane, puts on his pajamas, goes to sleep. Everybody was kind of upset because they hadn't been able to do any Christmas shopping. So the pilot radioed ahead and had the, the Air Force base in, in the Azores remain open so everybody could shop. So we landed, and everybody got off the plane, I told the guys to go ahead and go. I'd stay with the president. So I'm there, Air Force ramp, Air Force One. I'm down by the ramp. Johnson's up there sleeping. All of a sudden, I hear this, hey, Clint, where is everybody? <laughs> I look up. There he's standing at the top of the ramp in his pajamas. I said, uh, Mr. President, uh, it's Christmas Eve, and everybody's gone to the PX. You know, they haven't had a chance to buy any Christmas presents. He says, hell, I haven't had a chance either. Let's go. <laughs> so he reaches in a closet and he pulls out a, a trench coat, and throws it on over his pajamas, <laughs> comes down the steps. I grabbed an Air Force car and a driver, threw him in there. We went to the PX. We go in the PX and the employees couldn't believe the commander in chief of the armed forces, the leader of the free world, in his pajamas in the middle of the night buying Christmas presents. Now, I want you to notice what President Johnson is wearing. These are what he called his ranch clothes. Nice-looking garb, aren't they? So, good, good quality. <laughs> on, on this very same day, after Nixon and his entourage left, um, well, you had received a package earlier that morning. I received a package, and it said uh, for Clinton. And so I opened it up, and it was from the president. It was a set of ranch clothes, <laughs> like his. So I put them back in a package, and we went through the day, and after Nixon and Agnew left, the phone rang. It was President Johnson. He was out by the swimming pool. He said, Clint, did you get that package I sent you? I said, yes, Mr. President, thank you very much. They're really a nice set of clothes. He said, well, I want you to put them on. Come on out here and show me what they look like. So I was in the trailer with all these agents that, I, that worked for us, and if you don't think I was a laughing stock, <laughs> it was the most embarrassing moment in my life. But I went out there and I modeled him for him. His secretary was there laughing. His valet was there laughing. And I modeled him just like he wanted. So did you wear them from that point on? It's the only time I ever had them on my body. 